good morning my friends so a quick video on pleated blinds and pleated blinds I'm talking about blinds like this okay you see the pleats that's like a pleated blind okay but this one's okay because the pleats are even and as long as this one's okay let me show you how these guys work in the back you can see there's these loops. You see these plastic loops? And that's what the string goes through. And the loops pull the pleats when you pull the blind up, okay? So you see those loops. And they're just on with like a, a thread. So let's go. Let's go look at the bad ones. So in this bathroom, again, depleted blinds, as you can see, first off, the strings are all crooked and stuff, but if you look in, and the reason they're crooked is if you look in the back, okay, so this loop is off, okay, it's broken off where it's supposed to be sewn onto, and you can always see the marks where it's supposed to be sewn on, or where it used to be sewn on, and this one over here is totally off, and uh, it's up here. Okay, so when we pull that down, oh, we're actually going to straighten all of these strings out, and that's going to be a major deal for that. Okay, and um, and also like three or four of the uh, of the loops, they're all down here. They all have to be sewn back on. And uh, you know, I'm going to take like the top one, and I'm going to sew it on to the top, and the second uh, to the top pleat, and the second one to the second pleat, third one, and the, and then the bottom pleat. Okay, so that's the deal, and we're using this heavy-duty thread here. It's like a waxed, um, like, sailcloth thread, but you also need, like, a really big needle because this thread's so thick it won't go through the eye of a regular needle. So that's like a carpet needle, and this is, like, heavy-duty waxed. It's coated with wax um, thread. You don't need wax thread, but you do need, like, a heavy-duty thread. And here is a second... A second one that also you can see loop but that loop is off uh, that loop is off and there yeah, they're all sitting right up there so that's the second one we're gonna do it's it's easy you just got to put like a couple of loops of thread through but the one thing you want to be careful for is you don't come through the front fabric of the decorative uh, pleated blinds, you just want to sew through the back, okay, so you got that, so you don't want to come through the front, you just want to sew into this back fabric, that's, uh, that's what it's there for, so, uh, so we'll get done, maybe I'll show you one or something, but look, don't forget to, uh, share, like, subscribe, because all of that stuff really helps me out, the comment box is down there for questions and comments, thanks for watching The Handyman Zone, I'm Dino Pinch, let's get this job done. I'm ready. I got my uh, my needle in it, so I'll the thread on it. Now you could take this blind completely off the window and like lay it on a bed and do it, and you would do that by like looking up in the top here and taking one, two, three screws out with the screw gun. Three screws is down there. We use screw gun, and then this this whole blind would come off. You could lay it on the bed, but you know me, I'm the kind of guy that just likes to, you know, do stuff as it is. So I'm I'm gonna do it while it's hanging there. So I'll try to get a good camera angle for you guys and just show you like one or two of the sewing the loops without bringing the threads through the front of the blind. And um, although you know, I will tell you this: some blinds have a, a certain kind of fabric and a certain color where you may be able to bring the thread through the front and it wouldn't show, but this particular one with this light um, fabric with the intricate design and my dark thread, it's just not going to look good if I just pop little black uh, little black threads through the front. So, um, But some, like I've done like bamboo kind of looking or burlap, a, a dark burlap with a black thread, it's not going to show through. So, uh, alright, let's get this going. Okay, so there it is.
So I put a little overhand knot in the end of my thread. I'm going to trim the old thread off the loop. There's a little room to work. Now I'm going to get that old thread off and I'm going to loop through Okay, God, I'm going to loop through my loop there, my plastic loop, okay? Now I'm going to find that hole where the old one went. I see it right there. And I'm going to catch, I'm going to catch as close as I can to that. I'm going to catch some good fabric and just simply put a couple of, a couple of threads through, looping back through the loop, okay, and then into the fabric again. Okay. Now, because this thread that I'm using is so strong, I don't need any more than like two loops through. Now I'm going to knot it, I'm going to knot it off. under the thread and pull it nice and tight so I know it doesn't come loose but not tight I'm holding it when I pull tight I'm not just pulling tight against the fabric I'm holding the loop and pulling tight and cinching up my thread now we're going to trim this and this one is done okay so now we're going to move on to the end one which I'll show you here we actually have two we have this one here where all the loops are off it's one, we have this one here where all the loops are off. It's one, two, and the bottom loop. Okay, so here is that, uh, okay, here is that pleated, pleated shade. As you can see, it's functioning great now, and there is all of our, Little hooks in the correct place, all sewed in. Okay? Alright, great. Alright, thanks for watching my little video on how to repair the when the loops pull off your pleated shade. You know, I'm Dino Pants. This is the Handyman Zone. I'm taking YouTube into the future. I'm a full partner, have been. I'm the one they chose in the Handyman Department. So, uh, sub while you're here, use the comment box, please share the video in social media, and like or uh, comment, because uh, that's what the comment box is there for, so see you later my YouTube friends.